Okay, everybody. So welcome back. This is Ian from Mindful Marketplace. This video uh, is a continuation of our card uh, $1,000 uh, challenge. This is for anyone who wants to use a very unique, very specific, very ethical and strategic uh, system for selling web design, uh, web consultancy style offers, digital media, uh, brand style offers, social media marketing, and wants to use a very, very simple uh, process for accomplishing pretty big goals. And, and in this case, using education marketing. So you're actually creating a course where you're teaching folks in your ideal audience or your quintessential client group how to do something that ostensibly uh, is going to empower them, inspire them. And ultimately, a, a fraction of those folks will want to hire you to do it, or another fraction will uh, use the actual tools that you're uh, you know, recommending in the course as an affiliate, and you'll make ongoing uh, affiliate commissions in perpetuity, or at least for as long as your clients use the tools. Uh, it's a very elegant and uh, ethical model. And one of the questions that I've gotten over the last couple of days since I've started recording these videos uh, is for folks who don't want to use card. A lot of people, or not a lot, but I've, <coughs> excuse me, I've had about 12 uh, or 13 different people ask about WordPress. I, I prefer a card for this over WordPress simply because card's so much easier uh, to use. But here is an example of the exact same thing that we'll be doing in the course using WordPress. So here's a one page landing page style offer that you can uh, is using a very specific WordPress theme that allows you to do the same thing, incorporate uh, reviews, testimonials, and, you know, sort of a wall of love uh, for your clients in, in a WordPress theme in a really, uh, you know, pretty elegant and time efficient way. So in other words, I, I did this. I don't know, it's 11.30 a.m. I'm not a designer. I get up late and it took me the better part of 12 minutes. You can customize all this with Elementor. I don't like that approach generally, which is why I, re I recommend Card. But if you're selling services and you're a WordPress, a designer, developer, uh, or somebody who just likes, prefers WordPress, this is equally as elegant and efficient of a marketing model as it would be to use Card, Squarespace, Shopify, you know, Framer, Webflow, et cetera, et cetera. The key piece of this offer is not the technology or the tool that you're using. It's the simplicity in terms of scale. It's the simplicity in terms of, of time efficiency. And it's the sort of functionally unlimited amount of potential clients that are on offer to you simply because so many folks would benefit, right, from having a landing page that had a link in bio style, you know, sheen or flavor, but that actually did something positive, right? That actually showcased all of the nice things people in the world are saying about your clients and their work, and then has a high conversion oriented, high click oriented, um, you know, sort of aesthetic that allows folks, let's say this person, again, I just created this using, you know, art that I created using an AI generator and, you know, uh, whatever. I mean, like I just created this like, you know, from scratch, but this would be, let's say, you know, a realtor or a, a uh, CPA or a restaurant or a local therapist, you know, with a nice video header, you can do whatever you want with this. This is a video I recorded again, ostensibly, this is just as an, it, it used as an example for, you know, how you can use WordPress rather than, um, where did that go? <laughs> rather than, uh, you know, something else, right? In this case, card. So again, this is a very flexible model. You can see here's the back end of Elementor within our WordPress, you know, install. And, you know, it, certainly I'm not, I mean, I have a lot of experience with WordPress. I'm not a designer. I'm not a developer. So I prefer something like card simply due to its, you know, far more elegant ease. So this is the back end of card, right? You can see if I go back into card, 
I mean, it's just a much, much, much to me easier and more elegant interface for a non-designer like myself. I'm a marketing person, a writer, a teacher, and simply, you know, getting wrapped around the axle of using something like Elementor to me is not really all that enjoyable. But for those of you who don't mind that or actually prefer that, this exact model, you can easily sell two, five, seven 10 of these a day, if you do the right sort of outreach and you do the right kind of audience, um, you know, if you identify the right audience for you, whether you're working locally, whether you're working in a niche, like we're targeting authors and therapists and mindfulness oriented people who are writing about, you know, meditation and spiritual growth for our mindful marketplace community. But there is literally no limit to the amount of local people, right, in your community right now who have great Yelp reviews, for an example, but don't really have a good, efficient way in which to showcase those to folks who are you know stumbling on their website right if somebody looks at a therapist on um, instagram and likes a post then clicks on their link in bio in their profile because instagram just gives you gives all of us just one link well there's really nothing there for that person to really do other than look at the various things that person that therapist or that cpa or that realtor is up to in the world but it's a much more powerful and pers- persuasive proposition if you're sending them to a page like the one i just showed you with which ha- which has you know, just a ton of, of, you know, reviews and testimonials and feedback and folks on video, folks on Yelp, et cetera, et cetera, on Amazon for authors, on Instagram, it doesn't matter on Twitter, all of this is aggregated, you know, in a way that this, uh, that it demonstrates to the public that folks are, you know, really, sending out positive feedback at that about your client and you are the facilitator of that therefore you know this is a proposition for you that is pretty attractive as a designer as a marketer as a consultant etc and when you use this is the key piece that people fail to grok even the people who've commented on youtube on this you know on the on the review on the videos i've done thus far using the course model to teach a realtor how to do this is the most low pressure, low key kind of way of getting clients because you're showing them something that, again, ostensibly is going to do nothing but help them. You're doing nothing other than giving them a strategy for amping up their own business, amping up their own influence. And yet, you understand intellectually that most folks who are realtors or CPAs or sushi restaurant owners or pizza Ria, you know, uh, proprietors don't know how to mess around with any WordPress or card tool or tech or script or whatever. And you're giving them this gift of knowledge and you're showing them how to do something. And then ostensibly, they're not going to be able to, how to, they're not going to know how to do it. So a portion or a fraction will say, Hey, can you do this for me? Easy, easy peasy way of making sales ethically. And those who have WordPress or designers or developers in their orbit, you're still giving them an affiliate link in the course itself that they're going to click on. That's going to cookie their purchase back to you. So you're going to make, you know, whatever it is, 30%, 40%, 50% commissions contingent upon the program you're referring, you know, on a monthly basis, on a continuity basis until, or if they cancel, right? So that could be years. I still make commissions on things I recommended three years ago, you know, and that's a really great, and that's an affiliate marketing model that's quite attractive. 